Black College Hall of Fame is filled with names that you remember from back in the day. And those names were able to help strengthen uh, the NFL to what it is right now. From Langston University, top tier linebacker Thomas Hollywood Henderson. From North Carolina Central University, former head coach of Winston Salem State University, and North Carolina AT, Bill Hayes. Just to be able to play with guys like Mel Blunt, you know, play against uh, 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 Harold Jackson with, and then play with the Butch Robinson back there. It, this was great. I mean, you know, I tell everybody, when I first went into Southern University, I was I was a walk-on. A lot of people thought I was all one of the blue chip high school players coming out, but I was a walk-on. Jefferson, you just missed out on going into the Hall of Fame this year, unfortunately, but we got you here in the Black College Football Hall of Fame. My first time going against him, we were in Philly. <laughs> and, you know, anytime they saw me on the corner, any quarterback, they think, okay, he went to a small school, never heard of this guy, I heard he's slow. So they, whatever play they had called, they were in the audible. And when they see me out there, on their call my So <laughs> it was always a fade round. It was always, let's go after this guy with the quick slants. And it was a chore. I just, I just wanted to be the guy that Fort Valley could look up to. I never wanted to let my family down. To the credit of Albert Schultz, the head coach of Langston, I walked on. I got there on a Tuesday, and I was in the starting lineup on Friday. I used to laugh at when I blitz. Don't tell anybody that. I used to blitz. I used to blitz him. And I mean, you know, he he knew I was coming to hunters, but he be laughing at me just from he just messing with me, throwing me down. Just like we were talking about the segregation back in the day, like today, recruiting, you know, and, and this not to take anything away from you, the guys on your team, your team, before immigration, all those guys that have been at an HBCU, because they didn't have nowhere to go, they couldn't go to school. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner is Amir Hall.
Lawrence Taylor idolized Henderson and claimed he wore the number 56 because it was Henderson's number. But I was in a, um, a farmhouse in a muddy field sleeping on the couch when the call came for the draft. You know, we weren't in you know, Madison Square Garden or anything like that. Um, to be a number one pick on a team that only won one game my senior year was telling. Um, I'm so glad today that uh, I'm here. I'm grateful. I am so grateful. It is our pleasure to welcome you to the Black House Football Hall of Fame. Ladies and gentlemen, Thomas Hollywood. One of the most dangerous players on the field, sacking quarterbacks, chasing down running backs, intimidating opponents. The great linebacker once hit Brett Favre so hard, the NFL fined him $12,000. They helped the Steelers get to Super Bowl 30. He had been speaking without saying a word. And you've seen him in that t-shirt and practicing on game day. You know the one, I wasn't hired for my disposition. He finished his career with 707 tackles, 54 and a half sacks, 11 interceptions, and 35 more fumbles. Emerson Walls was born December 28, 1958. He only played one year of football at Boyd Parker High School, his senior year, and he led the district in interceptions. After high school, he enrolled in Grambling University, and using his relationship with an assistant coach at Grambling, Walls joined the team as a walk-on at the Story program. Legendary coach Eddie Robinson saw the potential in Walls, met with his mother, and provided a full scholarship for his remaining eligibility.